what do I have in my hand tonight? Is it a special prize? <laughs> Ready? Crazy bird man from the mountain. It's me, the bird man. Those are beautiful. Look at those things. Yeah. There's so many tomatoes. I'm gonna get some canning going. Yeah. You know, I did up a batch of these tomatoes already and they're a nice thick tomato. Great for cooking, canning. These were a nice surprise. They're so yeah. good. I forget the variety people have told us they believe they are, but they're excellent tomato. Yeah. Some say that they're an Italian tomato. You look them up, they also look like a Russian tomato. I don't care what they are, they're delicious. Yep. And they're, they get, when you cook them, they get thick fast. Yep. Awesome. Ah, uh, little critter's been eating on it. Well, we have so many, I guess. I won't begrudge them a few. No. Like the strawberries, we got, I don't know, around 30 quarts or something like that. And the birds and maybe a chipmunk or two had some of them, but that's all right. We share. <laughs> we had such a harvest. Same with, with all these tomatoes, you know. Uh, a few critters get some, that's fine. None of them touch the corn. I'm happy about that. <laughs> the butternuts, you know, we got some nice, nice butternuts here. We got a lot of stuff to pick. Happy about that. Oh, she's over there sampling. Looks like your container's gonna break on you. Yeah, I know, I hope I don't drop this. <laughs> Boy, do we have cucumbers to pick in here. They've gone crazy oh this week. Goodness. But look at them all. I Man, know. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy in here. I wish there was some other way to preserve cucumbers yeah. besides pickles. We absolutely love fresh cucumbers, and we eat probably, probably three, or four, three, three or four a day. Yeah. yeah, and just you know with salt on them, and she makes cucumber salads and all kinds of things, and been making pickles. She's made a lot of pickles, and we've given so many cucumbers away. But this week we've been busy with a lot of different things. And it's just unbelievable. Some of these have grown probably too big, you know. <laughs> Don't get hit in the head with a cucumber when you come in here. And look, look at this, look. I know every time I'm in here I show you all the cucumbers, but it's just unbelievable. And it's been like this all summer long. It's cucumber after cucumber. Now this variety is a good pickling variety. Yeah. It's got the harder skin, so they hold up well. The munchers over here, those are a thin skin, so they don't do so well pickling, but they're wonderful fresh. They really are. They're so good. This is it's just, 
So like right here we got, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, right there, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And there's at least a dozen over here that should be picked. But if you look, it's just a whole bunch of little baby cukes. Yeah, we're going to have look, some. Look, look, right there, right there, right there. You're going to have some headbangers here pretty soon. I know. A few days ago, maybe four or five days ago, there was probably 10 cucumbers hanging down here right in front of the doorway. And it kind of looked like patio lanterns or something. And I wanted to film them, and Lori picked them all. She got ahead of me. Yeah. <laughs> it's just crazy. I mean, look at this, right? Three of them together right there on the bottom. And I really love this this marigold plant that just came up on its own. Look at how big it is. Yeah. I mean, look. We've it's been probably, watching this. It was one little little a, flower, and now look at what it's done. And it's yeah, in the sand. Yeah. It's in the sand, and it gets hot in here, and it, it, we have never watered it. It's amazing. Yeah, just a seed that dropped out of yep. somewhere. All right, Mama, let's get picking. All righty. We've gotten a lot of cukes off of this trellis here, but more out of the other trellis. Some good fresh pickles here. Yep. Well, we're going to be well over 300 cucumbers after we're done picking here today. I know. So the butternuts, remember where they were growing way up, and then I cut it all back to see what would happen. The plant didn't suffer any trauma from that, um, but it has not produced any more squash. So we got these two, you know, decent butternuts from this tub, but that is it. And when I had put the zucchini plant in here, like I said, that was an experiment just to see how zucchini would grow indoors. We've gotten a few zooks from it. I'll have to check the list over there. Probably no more than four. And now it's just sucking nutrients out of the soil for the cucumbers. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that. There's nothing else growing on it. Got a few male blossoms, but that's it. Yeah. I'll throw these blossoms to the hens. Mm -hmm. This will make compost for next year? Yep. There's, a zook. There's another one coming right behind it. No, oh, that's a, a nice. Size. Yeah, yeah. There's a sizable one, but yep. that's a good, I mean, it's not huge. Yeah. But that's a nice size. I like this size for making the zucchini parm. The parm you made last night. No, we just delish. had some last uh -huh. night. But I love it. That's a zucchini parmesan waiting to happen. Nice tender one. Okay. When we made the garden, we had put this fence here and we were growing our beans and cucumbers up the fence. And this year we have the squash all over the place. And there's a few of the spaghetti squash that have grown in the fence and now they're caught in the fence. <laughs> <laughs> He's stuck right in there. The only way to harvest this squash is either to cut the fence or just cut the squash and just that'll be a squash we eat the day that we cut it. There's one in there that's stuck in the fence. But these are just hanging nicely. Nice. Well, so impressed with the corn harvest that we had. Just big beautiful flawless ears of corn and they were so good they were just so good and we put the corn patch here this year instead of over there and it was a lot happier it got a lot more sun and oh, that was just wonderful corn you know the garden's been a little overtaken with weeds because we didn't mulch this year but it did amazingly well as you've seen us in the past, we usually put a blanket of mulch about that thick on top of the garden. We use hay, we use leaves, we use everything we rake up off the forest floor. 
get really good results from it. But as you know, we've been pulled in a lot of directions this year and we didn't mulch, we just mulched the raised beds. So, like Lori said, there's a, more weeds, but nonetheless, it didn't hamper the growth and the harvest this year has just been really, really good. We have a little guardian of the garden over here. Look at her, a big, beautiful garden spider. I think it's a type of orb spider. And I don't know if that name comes from the type of web they build, but that's a beautiful. They are pretty. I yeah. haven't seen one of those since I was a kid. Me either. I haven't, well, I haven't seen them since we've been here. Yeah. When I was a kid, they used to be. Everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. Let me get close up. A little bit of morning dew on the web. That's kind of cool. Yeah, look at that. They are pretty. I know spiders creep a lot of people out, and I don't want them crawling on me, but yeah. they are fascinating creatures. They really are. So the other day I canned up two flats of tomatoes like this already, and I picked about a dozen cucumbers and a few zucchinis. So in the house right now I still have maybe a half a flat of tomatoes, probably eight cucumbers and a zucchini yet. So we got an abundance this year for sure. As I've been showing our success with the cucumbers this year, I've had a lot of people asking what varieties we grew. And we grew three different varieties here, so I'll show you what we grew and what we like and dislike about them. So these are our favorite for snacking and we'll definitely grow them again. These with the thicker skinned are really good for pickling. This one here was our least favorite. And this was the green crisp according to what we have on our records. Yep. But they don't really look like what's there. So I don't know if it was something funky going on in the garden that made them short and squatty. But they're very seedy and we didn't really care for them. And it's possible that I wrote the wrong ones down. Just a slight possibility on that. <laughs> okay, so the number 22s, the straight eights. 19 of those today that we picked. We picked 19 today. So That's 19 plus 75 equals 94 to my math. And then the munchers, we picked 13 of those today. 13. So that would be like 107. 107, yeah. And then we got our grand total. So today we picked 32 cucumbers. So 32 plus 295 is 327. And how many zooks? Four more zooks today. Four more. So that gives us 63 zucchinis. 63 zooks. That's a lot of zucchini, folks. It is. <laughs> now, Lori makes a wonderful, wonderful zucchini parmigiana. Everyone that has had it has enjoyed it and asked for the recipe and has made it. And we have some friends from Boston. They're all a bunch of Italians. So Lori was a little nervous about serving them that, an Italian dish. But they all loved it, and they made it themselves, too, and sent us photos of it. So <laughs> it's just wonderful. You mean you busy body? Why are you such a busy body? Huh? Oh, she's a corn dogger. <laughs> Listen to that dog. <laughs> What are, what are we doing with the coin? You don't know. So in the past, I always, when I did tomatoes, I always peeled them the traditional way. But as with so many things, the nutrition, a lot of the nutrition is in the skin, so I'm not peeling them anymore. It's a time saver, so you got more nutrition and faster process. That's a win-win.
crazy kids and your crazy toys. Toys. They're always dumping toys on my lap. Pokey way up in that tree A beaver built a pond Where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss 